Yo guys, today we are playing at the Rampage Mariano meetup game, playing 5-5 five five with the boys, so let's go! Cheers! Here. Well, sorry, one more for the video. <laughs> Ethan just did a $900 raise. Do seven. That's a $10,000 pot. I know more than people who went to college. So I never went a day! Starting with $500 at Hustler's 5-5 game, let's jump right into the action and I pick up pocket aces in the big blind. It's only about 10 minutes in, but my table has chopped the blinds twice or three times. Luckily, the cutoff opens the action to $20 and it folds to me. My usual 3-bet sizing out of position would be $80 here, but people seem too happy to fold and I want action with my aces. I only raise to $60 and she makes the call. The flop comes out jack 8 3 rainbow and I c-bet $60. She makes the call and the turn comes the 10 of hearts. Jack 10 and pocket 10s now beats me, but I'm still ahead of draws and all the other jacks, so I bet $155. She makes the call, and the river comes out probably the worst card in the entire deck, the nine of hearts. The flush gets there, any queen makes a straight, I think the only hands I beat now are king jack and ace jack. I believe the correct play on this river would be to just say, c'est la vie, check and fold to a bet. But <laughs> I am thinking... I only have about $225, uh, about 40% of the pot. If she goes all in for this price, I think I'll be too stubborn to fold. So if I won't fold to an all in, then I'm, I might as well go all in myself and maybe I'll get a call from King Jack or Ace Jack. I go all in, she calls and she has Queen 10 off. Of course, for a uh, rivered straight. Although this is the plan of Branson Poker Tech, Branson Poker does not recommend or endorse this strategy. If you so choose to follow the same logic patterns, Branson Poker takes no responsibility in a negative outcome. However, if you become rich, Branson Poker reserves the right to collect an intellectual property fee. Say la vie. Okay, round two. Hopefully I play better this time. I rebuy for $500 and pick up Ace Queen of Diamonds under the gun. I raise to $20, only the low jack calls, and the flop comes out Jack 8 3 with two diamonds. I put out a seabed of $25 with a flush draw and two overs. He makes the call and the turn is a jack. There's a decent chance my opponent could have a jack here after calling the flop, so I don't want to bet and get raised here. Instead, I just check. He bets $50 and I make the call. The river comes a queen. We make a pair, but I don't think I should bet because he could still have a jack and the main straight draw came as well. I check, he checks back, he has 8-10 of clubs, and I take it down. Next hand, I pick up ace-4 of clubs in the cutoff. The low jack limps, so I open it up to $25 and only the low jack calls. The flop comes ace-king-4 rainbow, so it's safe to say it's a good flop for me. After the low jack checks, I bet $20 and he makes the call. The turn is the jack of clubs, and the low jack checks again. He only has about $150 left. I bet 75 and he calls. The river is an offsuit 9, he checks again, and I go all in for his remaining $75. He sighs, makes the call, we show and we're good. Ethan aka Rampage then comes to our table, he's in the cutoff and raises to $35 over a straddle. I have pocket 6s on the button, I make the call and the big blind and straddle come along as well. Yeah, I think just couldn't help me. The money's too juicy, Ethan. I need it. I need it. The flop comes three deuce nine with two diamonds and it checks to me. This is a pretty good flop for sixes, but I choose to check back and the turn is a four. It checks to me again. Now I'm pretty sure I have the best hand. Plus, I picked up a gut shot, so I bet $70 and everyone folds. Then... Ethan has the audacity to reach over, grab my cards without my permission, and flip them over for everyone to see. Hold on, guys. I need to take care of something real quick. And we are back with pocket tens in the big blind, the plus one limps, and Ethan makes it $25 from the small blind. I'm in position of Ethan, let's make it spicy, and I three bet to $75. 
The plus one player then calls the $75 to my surprise, and then Ethan makes it $325. Oh boy. So yeah, not feeling great about my 10s now. Ethan is very aggressive, but I still decide it's probably best to fold my hand here. The plus one player then goes all in for $650. Ethan calls. The plus one player has ace queen. <laughs> Ethan has queens. I feel pretty good about my decision until I see the board run out king 10, 9, deuce 3. I mean, correct fold, but it still would have been nice winning a huge pot against Ethan. After that, we switched tables and I got to sit next to a ton of cool characters. Look at this lineup, ladies and gentlemen. We got Ethan, Mariano, Mariano's girlfriend, everybody else. Star studded. I played with this guy too. I'm sorry for that edit, but anyways, after that, I take a couple hands down pre-flop because nobody wants to give me action. They all know I'm the nittiest player on the table, which is probably true. But in other news, a drunken Ethan gets into a heads-up pot with Mariano's girlfriend, Megan, so here's that. Flop comes out 778, turn king. I don't know how much this is. Uh, you're not vlogging this one. I'm not. I'm vlogging oh, yes, this one. Yes, he is. I'm still vlogging this one. Oh, yeah, he takes uh -oh. Uh-oh, is it good? Do whatever you want. Is it good? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Am I going to lose it? It's up to you. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not ahead. But the river can change everything. That's very true. Oh, my God. Damn. Hold. 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 Please hold. Ethan rivers a pair to beat Megan's ace high, but anyway, back to my hands. Let's go. So I pick up Jack nine off in the small blind. There's a straddle and I guess we decide it's a good time to be friendly because the cutoff just calls, I call, the big blind calls, and the straddle checks. Four ways to a flop that comes queen seven ten with two clubs. I check and the big blind bets $25. Both the straddle and cutoff call. This pot is building and I have an open-ended straight draw so I make the call. The turn comes a king. We bink our straight. We're playing pretty deep and I want to make the most money possible so I'm looking to check raise here and I check. The big blind bets $75. Both other players fold and it's on me. I put in the raise to 240. The big blind goes all in for $740 effective. I make the call. The river comes in off suit three and he says he has two pair. I show my hand and we win a huge pot. Last hand of the vlog, I pick up king queen of hearts in the hijack. There's a straddle, so I open to $35. Only the straddle calls and the flop comes out ace seven eight with two diamonds. The straddle checks to me. This board should favor my range significantly, but there are quite a few draws, so I bet on the bigger side about two thirds pot, $50. He calls and the turn comes a six. He checks and now one of the biggest straight draws, 9-10 came in, so I check back to see a river. The river comes out the queen of diamonds, giving me a pair but also completing the flesh draw. He now leads out for 125 and I'm thinking when he called a pretty large bet on the flop, I think he mostly has an ace or a good draw. But all the good draws get there and I'm still losing to an ace, so I decide to just let this one go, but... I'm curious if any of you guys would hero call here. Let me know in the comments. A little after that, I decide to rack up and call it a night. That was a bit of a mess of a session. I was in for a total of a thousand. Lost that first bullet of 500 with aces. Didn't play that so well in my opinion, but it wasn't the worst. And then we crawled back and finally hit a big hand and cashed out for $12.84 for a profit of $284. All right, I'll see you guys later.